what a season it's been. Here are my top moments. Don't forget to subscribe to keep getting clips, and thanks for watching. Where were you shot? Where? Like, in front of my grandmother's house. But like, where in the where on your body? <laughs> <laughs> Being in the doctor's I, office, isn't it? <laughs> I got hit a few, uh, most of them in the legs. I got hit in my hand and the, I got hit in the face. So, like, the f uh, fragment portion of it is in my tongue. So, it kind of changed the way I speak a little bit. Like, and you're rapping as well. Still, yeah, what is it yeah. still in your tongue? Can you see it? Yeah, it's great for oral sex. Is it? <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. I didn't hear that. Good to know. Make sure you keep that bit in the show. Yeah. Let, let me just make a note of that. Uh, You've written the songs oh, that are really yeah. hard to sing, and, and they're big anthems, all, all of them. <laughs> and so, can you ever tour an album? Yeah, you just do it. Um, you do it down. Actually, Adele gave me a top tip. She was like, "Yeah, whenever you can't hit the high note, you're just like, you're like, la la la." <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, Brooklyn uh, put this picture up on Instagram, and uh, he he put on it. Um, Rocking the old school Ralph Lauren. And look at that, he's got 317,000 likes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so that, you know, cool in his Ralph Lauren. And you scroll through the comments, you know, oh yeah, whatever, blah, blah, I want to, blah, blah, blah. You get down to this one. And Mr. David Beckham, <laughs> that's my jumper. <laughs> on this program, honestly. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can feel it. <laughs> uh, this is him. It's a little video he posted on Instagram uh, to really boast about the number of his followers. Here we go. So it's my mum's birthday today. OK, I just reached a million followers. I've got 52. <laughs> I have a trouble remembering lyrics just in general. I remember jams. I remember the tunes. Right. But do you remember the one with, that you did that goes like, it's just you singing and piano, and I was like, how now, you? How now, how? Yeah, I feel out of would make your kids really jealous? What's that? Is if you just posed with a lightsaber with Finn. That would actually make him very jealous. Do it, do it. Oh. You've got off. David Beckham! You've got off. You've got you off. have met your match. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I just wanted to meet you, mate. <laughs> when Benedict became famous, one of the first things that happened was his fa like this is so random that his fans decided that he looked very like an otter. Are you aware of this? <laughs> I'm sorry. I know. <laughs> uh, this is an opportunity for uh, myself okay. and Johnny to channel our inner otter. This is a nice three shot. <laughs> uh... If you lean in, I'll lean in. Yeah, exactly. Okay, I'll lean uh, in. Oh, to me. Yes, you're, you're, in you're in the middle. Wait, you're in the middle. Wait, what's the face okay. on the other? Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, but wasn't there a moment when you kind of knew the Voldemort look was working when you were on set and you, you met her? Yeah, I passed by the script supervisor, had a little uh, boy who was on set. I mean, His son, maybe? Her, her, her son, son, I think, okay. for five years old. <laughs> anyway, I passed by this little child. I just looked at this boy. <gasps> he just burst into tears. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that amazing? I've always wanted to do something. Oh, 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 oh. But I, it's it's just there's something I don't know there's something about it that makes me want to kind of do oh, this. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> don't kick the bear. Think I'm a cute otter. <laughs> Fork under the table. Yeah. Explain that to them. Well, it's this idea of that they'll put like a fork under the table to see if anybody notices it. All these little things. But they don't drop the fork. No, no, they'll place it under the so you don't As notice it, and then see if you. To see yeah, to see if yeah. they'll notice. Oh, there's a missing fork. Where is it? Wow. Mm. But don't try that at Nando's. I imagine. It was... <laughs> <laughs> now we've all. What is uh... Nando's? I don't it's know. like a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Nando's, bro. <laughs> <laughs>
But you don't have it in America. No, you'd love it though. He would like what it. it. Yeah. What is it? It's like chicken. A oh. lot of chicken. Yeah. Chicken plates. Chicken done several ways. <laughs> I, I, I like that. That chicken, could be on their poster right? now. Sienna Miller. It's like chicken. <laughs> so, welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs> um, so, so you, <laughs> so you, you've never been on the show. <laughs> 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 The famous quiz episode when the girls lose the apartment. Yes, I in, remember in that episode. Quiz. Okay. Yes. So, uh, what the guys wanted you to do was see if you could remember the answers to the Chandler questions in the quiz. If you can't, Gemma Arterton's right on it. <laughs> do you remember this episode? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, Miriam, no hope. So, it, uh, only don't shout out till Matthew can't get it, but feel free to shout out if you, you can then get it. The okay. pressure is on. Okay, here we go. Here we go. <clears throat> According to Chandler, what phenomenon scares the bejesus out of him? Oh, that's Michael Flatley, Lord of the Dance. You are correct. Yes, well done. Okay. Countless elevator rides. I'll be in the elevator and a, and a, uh, a mother and, and child will get on. And the mother will say, it's Woody. <laughs> <laughs> it's Woody. <laughs> and the kid's going, huh? <laughs> 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 and then the mother tries to explain, no, the voice is recorded. Uh, and the uh, actor who is the voice, this is the actor, who they, the kids just don't get it at all. <laughs> they say, where's the vest? Where's the cowboy hat? You're not very tall. And so I say, <clears throat> all right, close your eyes. And they go, what? He says, just close your eyes. And the kid goes, <laughs> and then I say, we got to get back to Andy's room right away, guys. And then they go, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we love that. What is the name of Chandler's father's all-male burlesque? I actually know that, too. That's <laughs> Viva Las Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> but was it Django and Change would to ride a horse? Are you a natural horseman? Um, oh, I think I'm more naturally a horse than a horseman. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, Hello. OK. <laughs> <laughs> Every week, the TV guide comes to Chandler and Joey's apartment. What name appears on the address label? Mrs. Chandler Bong. <laughs> yes, very good. Yeah. Wilson! <laughs> <laughs> you a lot of Wilson. Right? You and Kelly were kind of looking for love. Yep, and then we noticed Justin Bieber was sitting um, two rows behind us. And we thought, you know what, Valentine's Day is coming up. We're both single. Let's just make a play for him. Like, at first we thought it would be funny, but then it actually worked. Um, and we sent Justin a note through our bodyguard. Um, I think we've got the note. Oh, really? <laughs> so, dear Justin, my name is Kelly Osborne, and my name is Robert Wilson. We think you should take our sexy hot asses out after the <laughs> show. Nothing weird. Yeah. <laughs> and then we sent it to him. You can see from exhibit A, it is ticked seven times, yes? Yes. yes. We hung out all night. Oh, did you? Here yeah. we are. Because I think most girls meet Justin and be like, ah, and be a bit pathetic. But like, I meet him and just was like, hey, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> I had a really good game. Yeah, I was quite proud of myself. He still looks quite nervous. Well, no, no. That was just because I was holding his balls. <laughs> The night I won my... Oh, I don't want to talk about that night. I had a whole meltdown. Um, <laughs> okay. I, well, it was that just sounds like, riveting. I want to talk about that. It was a series of things. It was like a birth control confusion. So I was like hormonal. <laughs> I, forgot, I fell on my face. I forgot to thank the director. So I was just like, what does it all mean? <laughs> Nothing! <laughs> um, I just like, I came home crying. And then my friend was like, ordered the wrong pizza. It was in thin crust. It was thick crust. I was just like... <laughs> <laughs> You, you created the blue story. Right. So how do, how do you do it? What? How... Um, it's a six-part process uh -huh. Uh -huh. that starts really, first of all, with the thought, the inception of it, and secondly, it's starting to feel it uh, in the lower part of your body mm -hmm. and then allowing it to come up and then really pushing through from the diaphragm up through the throat and then out through the nose mm -hmm. without thinking at all. <laughs> you just have to clear your mind. That's probably the biggest thing. And is it a pout or is it a, a jaw? It's, it's a combination of... Uh, it's really a. Th it's. 
<laughs> it's more. It's more. It's not even the the result. Like what what you're doing with your face is what you're thinking. Okay. Which is just like, just, okay, take it already. <laughs> <laughs> you know what it is. Um, Kevin, do your kids? Do they aspire to be a performer like you? Oh uh, yeah, I'm I'm in trouble. My uh, <laughs> my kids are just like me. They they cut. <laughs> <laughs> it's scary. It's so scary. Now, my son, my son is a little slower. My daughter is just like me. I, 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 catch, I, I can't. It's my son. I catch my son. I catch my son doing some of the stupidest stuff. I, the son, why are you licking that wall? <laughs> Lick the wall, boy. Uh, well, well, I'm just playing. No, you're not playing licking the wall, son. <laughs> Daisy, you get to use your lovely English voice. I do. Throughout. I do. Uh, John, not so much. No. <laughs> I have an American accent in it. Do it. He's so good. No, it's incredible. Your accent is oh, so amazing. good. Oh, thank you. I mean, I tried it in the British, but it didn't work out. I'm a stormtrooper. I'm an air savior. <laughs> <laughs> didn't work out. Did, did you do it on, on screen? Uh, yes. Yes. Um, and JJ was just like, uh, John, I, I don't think it's right. It's not right. So let's go with American. But what if you hadn't been able to do American? Then I would have been pissed. <laughs> <laughs> would have been fired. Yeah, fired. <laughs> you did the voiceovers for some of the trailers. You did. Yeah, the, I did. Yeah, the voiceover yeah, guy. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, I love that stuff. I do it at home all the time. It drives my wife nuts. It's the, mm -hmm. you know, it's that voice that in a world divided by fear, <laughs> one man must stand alone. Will Smith, <laughs> Ryan Reynolds, <laughs> Catherine Zeta-Jones, <laughs> Toby Jones. <laughs> In uh, Graham Norton's pants, rated R. <laughs> that's, that's my ringtone. <laughs> Benedict Cumberbatch, wherever you go, you have very ardent fans. I do. <laughs> you said I do. Oh, yeah. I said I do. Yeah, you do. By the medium yeah. of a gin and tonic, I yeah. said I do, yes. Uh, and somebody saw uh, Benedict on location in Boston. And we've got a picture of you on set that day. And uh, so she, she saw Benedict and immediately rushed home and went on to Reddit. And she goes, um, I saw Boston Batch, because that's your name in Boston. Yes, it's an adaptable surname. <laughs> yes, I saw Boston Batch this morning. Bury me in a Y-shaped coffin, for I am deaded. So she writes, Bitches, he is fine. <laughs> He was wearing the blue hat, a dark blue polo shirt, <laughs> the grey pants and the white shoes. He's taller than I thought. I suspected he was about 5'11", want to be six-footer, but no, I'll he's definitely you. six foot tall. <laughs> and ripped. <laughs> like, uh. really much more muscly than I was expecting. <laughs> Those arms, dad ass. <laughs> And the arm veins were in full effect, popping. There's not an ounce of fat on that man. It's all muscle, <laughs> sinew and wholesome goodness. And the hat looks better in real life, too. <laughs> but the what last was wrong with the hat? No, no, the last <laughs> paragraph, the last paragraph is though where you just kind of think, whoa. Oh, no. I couldn't smell him. <laughs> I really tried. <laughs> he was so close that had he been wearing cologne, I think I would have been able to tell. Just the lightest cumber musk in the Boston <laughs> sunshine. Mm. Are you getting it, Tommy? Cumber musk. <laughs> Usually, I was, co I was growing my mustache out for Anchorman 2 and coaching on the sideline, and the opposing coach was like, you look familiar. Uh, and I go, oh, yeah. <laughs> and he goes, are, you, are, are you that actor? I'm like, I, I think so. And, uh, he said, is that mustache real? <laughs> I said, yes, why would I be wearing a fake mustache? At <laughs> <laughs> a kid's soccer game. It's happened. Honey, hold on, I gotta put my fake mustache <laughs> on so that I'm unrecognizable. <laughs> no, but I feel, though, Colin, sometimes you... I feel too, Graham. You, you fight your own beauty. You fight your beauty, and you often use the medium of hair. To fight you oh, I've had some of the worst hairdos in film. Do you really have? Yeah, no, genuinely. Like, if Empire Magazine did top ten worst hairdos in film, I'm definitely three of those. <laughs> some of those are intentional. Like, Horrible Bosses is intentional, and that's... Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, that wasn't one of the three I was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. But a movie I love, Home at the End of the World. Oh, thanks. Uh, it's just such a good movie, and you're so good in it. However... That's had to be hampered, Ooh. I feel. Oh, yeah, that's bad. Wow. I mean, that's a testament to what a mess I was at the time that I actually stood in front of a camera with that on my head. <laughs> I believe I've gone to dinner with her. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know that thing where uh, some people make a list 
of oh, people, famous people that they're allowed to have sex with if they meet them. Oh, the free pass. The free, the free pass. pass, right? Yeah. She called it an allowance. Um, <laughs> uh, and I was like, what, like pocket money? Yeah. Uh, how are you going to spend me? Um, uh, and so I met her and her fella, and, and then she came up and said, uh, after she went, so you're my allowance. And I was like, I beg you, excuse me. <laughs> and uh, she went, you, you know, he's cool with it and you're my thing. And I was like, uh... <laughs> right. He's not cool with it, by the way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> by the way, that's a whole other story. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, and, uh, and I was really sort of, like, taken aback by it. And, and I was like, I'm married and thank you very much. And it's very, very nice of you. And then she said this thing that was, like, it was meant as a compliment. And she was trying to get me to do stuff, but it was still really backhanded. And she went, because, you know, a lot of girls would be after somebody like Channing Tatum. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, listen, Jane Eyre, you had a horse. <laughs> yeah. No, you had a very bad behaved horse <laughs> on Jane Prince. Eyre. Yeah. Prince, Prince was the yeah. horse. Yeah, yeah. So what would happen? <laughs> well, he used to get quite aroused when, uh, <laughs> whenever I got in his back. <laughs> So, yeah, he did, yeah. Uh, I could understand so, that. Uh, <laughs> Miriam, now, you do... I'm guessing you don't sugarcoat things. Do you get starstruck when you meet I people? Do, I do sometimes. I do sometimes. I remember when I was young I, and I met Laurence Olivier. Wow. That was... Uh, I, I used to collect autographs at the stage door, you know, and uh, mm -hmm. he came out. And I remember so distinctly that I started to cream in my knickers. I could, I could feel it. I could actually... I, I was all funny. That is true. Do you know what I mean? I know exactly what you mean. <laughs> Where, wherever we thought that story was going... That is it. I honestly don't think I've ever been more uncomfortable in my life. <laughs> the worst moment of my life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Well, it can only get better, so... Well, that's a lovely story, Miriam. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. I, I think that's in the compilation. That's... That's great. <laughs>turns to me and he goes, Jonah, Jonah, Babona, Banana, Fana, Fafona, me.